Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is a plan with me and my Inkwell Press from March 13th through the 19th. This is also a collab with my friends Alexis and Desiree. I will leave their information down below, so make sure you check them out. And let's get started in this plan with me. Now the book I will be using is the Mambi Rainbow Sticker Book. You can get this at Michael's. I will be using the green because this week is St. Patrick's Day. So I thought it would be nice to do a green theme and hopefully I don't get tired of it like I did Valentine's Day with all the red. But I'm excited to see how this turns out. So let's get started. First, I am going to be laying some of these checklist stickers down. One thing I love about the Mambi stickers is that they fit perfectly in the Inkwell press. And I really like using them because it makes it a lot more fun to use my Inkwell press. So I'm just adding a bunch of these checklists and on different days. I add them on Mondays because it's a busy day for me and Thursdays because I did move my filming to Thursdays. So I like to add checklists on the days where I'm doing a lot more work than usual and I'm going to be adding a quote sticker right here I like this quote sticker this style of sticker right here reminds me a lot of Kate Spade and it says don't be afraid to do something big I like quote stickers as long as they don't take away from my writing and right here I am adding a now sticker I love these now and later stickers and I like putting them not directly on the line but a little bit over to kind of give it an asymmetrical feel because I am not, you know, not scared to do something that's a little uneven. I think it brings, you know, the spread a little bit more together when, um, not more together, it gives it a unique feel <laughs> to the spread when you um, add a little bit of asymmetrical asymmetry to the, to the spread. And I'm adding one of these Aaron stickers because a meeting of mine got moved to next week. And this is a Paper May Flare, the pen I will be using. I love Paper May Flares. They are awesome. If you don't have any, please get some in your life. So I'm just writing out things I need to do for the week. And I will let you know now my writing is extremely messy, but it's perfectly fine. And I'm just writing down some household chores, which is mop and toilets. And I'm writing down batching photos. And I'm just trying to think what else I need to write down here and one thing about the checklist is that I just kind of line up with the checklist I don't really care too much about the lines and I'm not a person where everything needs to be perfect in order for things to work and I will be doing a live stream today at 10 a.m. Um, by the time you see this video it might have already happened or it's getting ready to happen or whatever um, Tuesday I'm making sure I write self-care I try not to do any work on Tuesdays and dusting the floors with my Swiffer mop and I'm just going back and writing something down. Haley out early. I always have to remember because sometimes I don't, she'll walk up and I'll be like, why are you out early? And I'm writing, writing Alyssa out early for Wednesday and I'm writing down mop and toilets again for Wednesday. Putting filming, I put a question mark in case I do want to film on Wednesday then it's already in there. Cross posting. I need to make sure I, you know, cross post to Instagram to make sure that it gets to the platforms that it needs to be. And that's just the videos. And I'm writing down meeting at 2.30. It was supposed to be last Thursday, but it got moved to this Thursday. So that's an errand I have to run. And I'm writing down filming and edit videos. And set the trash out. Cannot forget to set the trash out because otherwise you gotta wait another week and then we just have full trash. And I put trash empty to remember to bring the trash can back up from the curb. <laughs> oh, and plan next week. I like by Thursday, I like to have next week pretty much planned out. That way it's done, sticker wise anyway. And usually by the weekend, I try to get all of my writing done. And I am just looking for any other stickers that I am going to put down. And I'm putting that sticker book away. And the next sticker book I'm going to use is this seasonal sticker book from Recollections, which is sold at Michael's. I love the sticker book. Only a small amount of stickers, but they cover all the holidays. Even St. Patrick's Day and Father's Day. Who would have thunk it? So I'm using a couple of these St. Patrick's Day stickers that I'm going to put down in my planner. 
and I put that happy St. Patrick's Day there at the bottom instead of at the top so I have an, um, some more room to write and I'm just going to add a couple of you know St. Patrick's Day type stickers here on the Friday you know just to liven the spread up a little bit And I like these little um, shamrock stickers. I think they're really, really cute. I'm also gonna add one of these lip stickers right here, which are cute. The inside of the lips, um, there's no paper right there. It's just see-through. So I thought that was pretty cute to put right there. I'm not Irish, but um, I do just like to have the little, you know, quote unquote holiday listed in my planner. And I am grabbing from that rainbow sticker pack again, putting such amazing, such amazing weekend. I love the weekend stickers. I always seem to put one in all of my planners. And then I put green right here next to that. Just a little bit of decor and it doesn't take away from the writing that I have to do in my planner. And I put this quote sticker right here. It says, girl, you're going places. That is also in that rainbow sticker pack. And I like that. I like the black shadow that is behind it. I thought that was a pretty neat way to do a sticker. And I took another one of those stickers from that pack and put note right there because there's a couple of things I have to do this coming week on the Saturday. And I'm going to get ready to put um, some more stickers down. And what I am using is some Etsy stickers from Oh Hey Sticker Co. And my friend Maggie sent me those. And these stickers from Color Life Beautiful Plans which is on Etsy, and I love these Instagram and YouTube stickers. And I put wine o'clock for YouTube because that is my ladies' night. And I thought that was really cute to kind of just layer that on top because I always have a glass of wine when I'm doing my live streams. And just putting batching photos. Mopping toilets again. I clean the toilets every other day, so that's why I put it down so I don't forget. And I'm going to put date night in case we go somewhere. Who knows? Hopefully we do to get out of the house. And right here I am putting laundry and grocery shopping. I may do it earlier in the week. Um, not sure, but just putting it down in case I don't. Just remember to go to the grocery store and get some stuff to stock up for the following week. Next up, I'm going to be using um, this washi from Target, Mambi and Recollections. Um, Target is the grass, Mambi is the daisy, and the other two are Recollections. That shamrock one is found in that seasonal washi sticker pack, um, and there's only one shamrock sticker, I mean shamrock washi tape in there. I love that grass um, washi. I think it's really, really cute, and I am also going to layer that with this daisy washi. Um, I thought it was cute to add this washi because it has that yellow in there. So it kind of gives, you know, not just green and white, but throws uh, another color in there. And I thought it was really, really cute. And I'm having some trouble here cutting this washi. I'm just like, come on, let's cut the washi. And then I'm going to move to the other side and I am going to put this um, stripe washi down and this shamrock washi on this side since um, St. Patrick's Day is on a Friday. So I thought that would be a really cute idea. And I'm going to put this stripe one right underneath it, which also seems to go with the stripe that is in that Happy St. Patrick's Day sticker. So I can still use the boxes at the bottom. It won't take away, even though I did get rid of my three boxes. Um, I still have space to write things down if I really needed to. And I'm trying to see if there's any more stickers that I want to put down. I found a heart one, I believe. Oh, no, this one says love this with a heart on it and that is basically it very simple a lot of green but I love how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed do that and I will see you all next time bye